This worried me a little bit. Abby Phillips' look changed dramatically when he mentioned me, and that scares me a little bit. This man is a man of society. New fear and is out. Hopefully, you guys liked it. Uh, where is this? This man is a man of society. It's probably all water weight. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. We're in another fan. Case. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. I Marsh isn't even on me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I look over. I started hold flexing. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, look, he just cut away. <sighs> look, he cut away again. That's crazy. And that shit. He doesn't even care. Dude, ever since I swapped out these, like, I have, I bought, like, 10 of these things, dude. They're all, like, they're cheap off of Amazon, and I just only wear these tanks now. I don't wear anything else. Since I know you always like looking at the latest Apple products, here's the latest from the launch this morning. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I think Apple's latest shit is so goddamn mid. I do need a new iPhone right now because mine is super broken, but I don't even know if it's worth it. Like, is there anything new in the new I Apple iPhone? Like, is there anything new ever? Like, when is the last time, when is the last time they made, like, a bold leap in technological innovation? Like, I can't remember the last time they did that shit. If anything, they probably put, like, AI Garbo in it, which I don't know if they did or not. That is immediately my suspicion because everything has, like, AI garbage bloatware. Every single goddamn thing is just, like, loaded to the brim with bloatware AI Garbo, okay? You can't even do a search query anymore it has to be like ask jeevis sucks ask grok it's just like i don't care man i don't care i don't want to ask your stupid f chat gpt backed ai questions like i just i have search search give me answers i have search queries i need answers for them i do not want stupid ass bullshit okay what is this yup iPhone 16 to include Apple intelligence. Oh, sick. Buh. Man, that shit is so dope. Yo, that's awesome. Oh, oh my God. By the way, remember all the Apple loyalists like Megaphonics and all those other motherfuckers in here that love like the EV evangelists, like the tech evangelists yelling at me about like the Apple Vision Pro or whatever. What happened, bro? I told you that shit was a dud. I told you that shit was a dud. Number one. And it is a dud. It's been it's been a dud. Anyway, speaking of nephew, look at this. Dallas. Yeah, are you where are you from originally? Dallas. Yeah. Oh, you're from Dallas originally. <laughs> oh, about Dallas. How the f did you become such a SoCal Asian if you're from Dallas originally? I'm not a f so it's SoCal Asian. Bro, you attention. behave exactly like a SoCal Asian. Attack. I was genuinely shocked to find out. Like it is it is straight up like his entire social footprint online is is like all of the socal asian aesthetics attach that to me please you got the zoomer boy haircut okay i had to do this shit for in Milan, you wear rig you wear balenciaga you go on boba date boba dates i mean not i mean i guess but not please don't attach me to that no. that's the most surprising thing i've ever heard i thought you were straight up from irvine or some shit hell no i'm from texas bro. i was i was raised around mexican people bro you literally do you used to do Valo e dates, no? Yeah. You are one dangling He's... earring away from being a SoCal Asian. Don't say it's true. Are you, I, you I cooked him. I read him to filth. <laughs> I grew up around Mexicans as if that's not how SoCal Asians were created. <laughs> that's funny because Jason just got earrings but isn't wearing them. Hassan is so tapped in he doesn't have to try, bro. Just list facts. Why is Hassan always eating? That's funny. Okay. You guys have great banter. I like this dude. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He's he's nice. I like him. <laughs> Always eating. Hey, there's lots of Asians in Dallas. You'd be surprised. I've thought long and hard about this. I think it's because like if there is a if there's like an ethnic enclave in an area and it becomes like the majority minority, then all of the like third geners from that group become like white. Like they become they turn into like white kids. They become the, the prominent white group of wherever that is. So I think that's the major distinction between like Asians that live in like Nebraska. You know what I mean? Because like you're literally the only Asian person in your class and people are constantly ripping into you. So you don't get to like, you don't get to have the experiences of like being, I mean, it, it happens, I think. Like it, ultimately you could be 
you know, depending on your click or whatever, depending on what you do. But when, <laughs> when you are removed from uh, the, the being like the minority group and become the majority minority, you all of a sudden, uh, especially when you're like third generation or whatever, you're basically the most like, you become f boys, <laughs> you become f boyified, you become very Naperville. That's where the AAVE comes from, you know? That's what it is. Bro, did you get the calipers already? This is this has nothing to do with like race. What the f are you talking about? This is everything to do with the social, the socio-political phenomena of whiteness, okay? And the dynamics that race play into social development. I'm joking, I'm sorry. Nothing? Yeah, of course. It has nothing to do with like genetics. The f we're talking about yeah, thank you, chatter. Observed social dynamics. <laughs> it's literally the the exact opposite end of that spectrum where there is no like genetic predisposition to wear dangly earrings and and chase abgs okay that's not like a thing everybody loves abgs that's like not even a, a question you're saying that the enclave becomes an in-group in that small pocket but it's not even a small pocket if you look at like irvine and shit what the f is an abg asian baby girl it's just west coast shit here's your cnn shout out and you mentioned the creators at the DNC were actually hanging out in, in the whole story on Sunday with Hassan Piker, who is one of the biggest Twitch streamers, a uh, video game streaming platform for people who uh, don't know what Twitch is, but it is where a lot of political discussion is happening. It's where a lot of Gen Z is getting their political discussion. And what we're focusing on in this documentary, uh, this hour on- Why is she looking at him like that? Uh-oh. On Sunday is we're really looking at uh, disillusions, young, white mm. American men mm. who are, spend most of their waking hours online mm. uh, and who believe that America's left them behind. And uh oh, uh, and you mentioned the creators at the DNC were actually hanging out in, in the whole story on Sunday with Hassan Piker, who is one of the biggest Twitch streamers. No. Oh, no. I'm a little worried, dude. I'm actually kind of scared because like I'm worried. That, I mean, I love Doni. I'm just worried about like I'm legitimately scared that like there are a lot of anchors at CNN who just hate my ass. Van Jones bad to be Van Jones you from ever being mentioned again. I uh, don't know what Twitch is, but it is where a lot of political discussion is happening. It's where a lot of Gen Z is getting their political discussion. And what we're focusing on in this documentary uh, this hour on Sunday is we're really looking at uh, disillusioned young white mm. American men mm. who spend most of their waking hours online mm. i'm just uh, overthinking it i'm probably just overthinking it and it's everybody's fault but theirs you guys were there when the sausage was being made okay you saw it i literally talked it first of all i love doni i trust doni in the video they go and talk to a lot of like maga communists and shit right and i'm i'm basically like a like a counter to that like they didn't they they presented me as like a person who is who, who runs counter to like people who are spreading misinformation. That's the promo for now for um, the upcoming show, which uh, Doni promoted here and gave me a shout out on as well. This worried me a little bit. Abby Phillips' look changed dramatically when he mentioned me and that scares me a little bit. I'll admit, I saw this last night while playing Wukong. You guys uh, probably missed it, but like the vibes changed dramatically when he brought my name up and it scares me a little bit. Maybe she watches your thirst talks. That's her face change. No, dude, what the f wrong with you? I don't know if I'm reading too much into this, but it felt like her expression changed. She was like smiling and then she just, cause she was laughing here. Look, here's at the DNC. We're actually hanging out and she's in smiling story on Sunday with Hassan Piker, who is been one of the biggest Twitch. And then she's no longer smiling. Stop saying stupid f shit. She liked their Insta post or she watches your thirst tra as thirst traps or whatever. Okay, you guys are so f stupid. Shut up. I'm just worried. Okay, maybe I'm overthinking it. Watch Donny's hour Sunday night at eight. I think eight p.m. Eastern. Eight Let's say that. <laughs> Why does her opinion worry you? I hope that no one at CNN knows who I am. That's it. <sighs> That's my position on the matter. Obviously, Donny knows who I am. That's not what I'm talking about. I I love Donny. Donny's great. And um, depending on how how much editorial control over he has over this uh, process, I can assume that he is like, I, I think he's placed me as like a sane version of like leftist commentary. 
as a counter to the misinformation, to the flow of misinformation that runs rampant online. But that could change depending on who the editor is and what kind of uh, what kind of editorial control they have. Does that make sense? I know how journalism works. I have a lot of friends in the media, as you know. Okay, I know how this shit works. Your standing in mainstream media will always be precarious, and maintaining that is important for the proliferation of its message for your message. Yes. So we'll see. I don't. I don't think Doni would me over though. The last thing Hansel ever wants is a CNN primetime left bashing session debated to the internet's famous himbo. Yeah. His interview with you was precisely the opposite of his talk with Hinkle. You're good. No, I know that. It's not about what Doni would do. It's about what level of editorial control he has over the process. And and beyond that, like what his editors might want to do with the footage. Because I, I think that just as easily they could just like cut it in a way where it's like, see, Hassan is also just like the rest of these guys, a serial misinformer and an anti-American campist. You can spin it in for any person, but especially a person like myself who has countless hours of, of opposition. Here's the promo video for it. This is the one that we launched. I mean, we'll see. All of this will uh, be brought to the light. Um, this isn't the one. There is one where I'm uh, I'm in it as well. One of the promos that he made, I'm in it. But this isn't the one that uh, I was in. But regardless, this was the one I think that I was. By the way, this destroys the MAGA conservative movement. Or, I mean, uh, the MAGA communist movement more than anything else. This guy. This one brief moment. This one clip, okay? This one clip right here just destroys everything online, that they would have tried to put together, okay? <laughs> Someone said, won't Neff. Yeah. Dude's balling in flip-flops. Yeah. Apparently, that guy was in this chat as well, and he f hates me now or something. That's what they were saying. That's what Donnie was saying. Jealous of his jumper? Yeah, I am. I'm Dante mentioned you in a video. Uh, yo, TC weird, and I'm Dante's vouching for him. And, like... He don't care like let's stick within that all that outside stuff is like that's like her sign that's like her sign stuff and uh i don't do that <laughs> i don't i don't do that man i don't want to get into <laughs> that's when the stream just get boring and then like people actually arguing and actually get mad bro i don't know how he, he bro he hassan be on stream every day like this just like this man Okay, why, I don't do mouth why noises. Why are we down to the same Amazon, Like, why are we supporting Tom Cruise when the world is actually finished? The... No, the world is actually but like you guys need to understand what you guys don't understand is it's like yo, damn, you you really just be sitting there. I can't do that, bro. The second <laughs> say something stupid, I'm like yo, shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> he's right, and I should probably do it less. He he's right, and I probably should do it less. Okay, that was a fun. That was ten ten. That was a ten ten. Perfect demonstration of what I do like the the only thing you get added to that is if I like get up to piss or serve a three-minute abric at the top of the hour when there's a three-minute abric at the top of the hour ultra instinct I locked in